Wednesday. For the first time since the collapse, a woman who was on the 35W bridge when it went down is talking about her ordeal. Her account is something investigators are very interested in. You may remember Linda Paul from this video of her on a stretcher being taken to the hospital. Before that happened, she had a very close look at a key area on the bridge. Darcy Polland has her story. I noticed that the sign, the freeway sign ahead of me started buckling and undulating. And at that moment, I realized that the bridge was going to come down. Linda Paul was driving southbound on the north end of the bridge. Then I saw the deck tilting towards me, and I looked out the side window, window of my van and noticed that the expansion joint just started splitting apart and realized at that moment that that was it. Linda blacked out for a moment, and then... It was sound and grinding and cement and pieces of concrete flying through the windows. She ended up around here. Well, then people coming from everywhere. Including this man shown in this Star Tribune newspaper photo helping Linda. But he and I threw stuff aside and I slid out feet first and he supported half carried me and sat me in a sandbank alongside the retaining wall. Then the man Linda knows only as Bernie ran off to help others. He's a person I would sincerely like to, hand, you know, to thank. Linda waited until paramedics arrived. I mean, I knew my face was injured, but to what extent, I had no idea. We showed her for the first time what many remember vividly from that night. That's me, and I look pretty hideous. Less than a week later, an NTSB investigator spent two hours asking her about the collapse. He found it very interesting because I had remembered so much so clearly. The only question she struggles with now is where is Bernie? Bernie is the one person I would like to thank. Linda has five compression fractures to her vertebrae, making her an inch shorter. The wound to her head, which caused so much blood, resulted in a complete eye socket reconstruction, and she still, Frank, has double vision. My goodness. Well, we wish her well with her recovery. Uh, Darcy, has Linda been back to the bridge since all this happened? She has. The first day that the uh, 10th Avenue Bridge opened up, she wanted to go. She thought it would be cathartic. She was a little apprehensive at first, but it turned out that it was very good for her to go out and see that bridge, especially the area where she saw separate. She said she was gratified to see that that joint separated the way that she remembered it. All right. Darcy, thanks.